welcome back to another video and today guys I'm gonna be installing three superchargers on my Civic so I can make it fast I'm, I'm sorry I don't know why you guys watch me no we're at O'Reilly's guys and I got Dairy Queen all right I got Dairy Queen for this amazing Sunday right here I got some chicken chicken nuggets or chicken tenders or chicken fingers whatever you want to call them and today we're gonna to be doing the brake fluid on my car so we're gonna be taking out the dot three and flushing the system completely out and doing dot four instead because I don't want to boil the brake fluid. So yeah, we're at O'Reilly's guys. And um, I, my other video was also here because like I said, my parents live on a farm. So I really can't do crap in the grass. So we're gonna do that here. So gotta buy the brake fluid. I gotta probably, they probably have like a brake kit in there. So I'm sure they do at O'Reilly's, they have to. Or if not, Advanced Auto is literally right there. So we'll figure it out either way. But I'm gonna get this done and let's see how long this takes. It shouldn't take long right because it's brake fluid although the last mod that I did I shouldn't say anything because the last mod that I did took four hours longer than I thought it was going to so let's just say it'll take about two to three hours let's just, let's just say all right y'all so we got the goods all right we got the Prestone dot four that way I won't destroy the brake fluid and whatever they had with this which is brake bleeder kit I don't even know if this is gonna work properly but we'll find out my engine bay is disgusting I need to get it detailed one day, but like this is all like, it's all like baked on, look at that. Isn't that gross? Yeah, one day I'll clean it. For those of y'all that want to do this, this is pretty much what you'll need. So we got the brake fluid. Got the uh, bleeder kit, got your, to remove the tires or the wheels obviously. Uh, you need, I'm pretty sure it's a 10 mil with a wrench, but I grabbed an eight just in case. Some people were like, they didn't really know and I didn't really watch enough videos. A bottle, which they kind of give you one in there, but another bottle, jack stand and a, and a jack. And of course, any little bit of common sense that I don't have. And a tripod if you're a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> I got this hooked up so I guess with this kit the tube isn't big enough so they give you like this little thing that you put into like the actual bleeder I guess that's how it works I don't know but yeah so I got this it has like a little magnet so you can put it like to the brake caliper which is actually kind of cool all I need now is a baster or something or a syringe because I can't get that out I mean I could do it without it but it would be a lot harder so I'm gonna see if O'Reilly's maybe has some but we're getting somewhere so I'm gonna find out So as you can see the difference here, that's like brown. That's even mixed with some of the new stuff. And then look how clear it is. That's all the new stuff. So that's a lot better than that. So we're almost there at the reservoir itself. I just kicked something, oopsies, go. The reservoir, I'm gonna fill up just a little bit more. I wanna make sure that this line is completely clean. I want no bad brake fluid. There are air bubbles coming out for some reason. Uh, that's okay, I guess that's good. I'll let all the air bubbles out. Um, Hopefully I didn't screw it up. We'll find out either way. And then I'm going to bleed a little bit more just to make sure it's completely flushed. And after that, guys, we should be good.
All right, guys, so this one, it definitely is a lot better than that. It's starting to probably get like a little lighter maybe because a lot of new fluid's going in there, but I'm not sure. Look at my hands, they're gross. But yeah, it's definitely getting lighter, so this one should be good. I'm gonna do a couple more pumps just to make sure. I'm gonna probably have to go buy another thing of uh, dot four if they have any, but we'll see. looks like but my hands are freaking gross dude I haven't even finished my Sunday yet well we're on to the next side so first side's done uh, the brake pedal feels okay like even just like disabling the parking brake um, it feels good but I mean obviously I, I can't tell until I really driven it so but luckily it didn't it got stiff when I pressed on it which means obviously it's holding the pressure so everything's tight and shouldn't be leaking everywhere <laughs> Right, so we just finished finally we're all done this one's done this is the last one it's nice and clear and I look at that I just managed to not overfill like I I knew it was close but like look how whoo I got lucky on that one also the wrench is there so that didn't keep falling out you know engineering yes yeah, so we finally did it um, and I gotta tighten this real quick I gotta find my 10 millimeter wrench that I hopefully didn't lose because I, I can't find it told me I lost the wrench I actually don't know where it went so oh wait duh it's right there there's my dumb moment of the day guys don't ask <laughs> there we go none of it went in all right so this right here is all of how much we uh, got out look how gross that is guys Look at how dark and disgusting that fluid is. That's all that came out. So about, let's see, that's this is uh, 23, about 24 ounces. This is about 17, so what, like about maybe five ounces. So about, about 29 ounces of fluid came out. Look how gross it is. It's all clear now, it's all good. And on top of that, the reservoir itself is a lot cleaner than it was before. As you can see, it's nice and clear. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this back in. This part goes on the bottom. So this part goes up. So just like that and then put this on. So just like so, there we go. It's on there. We're all good guys. The brake fluid finally changed. Now I gotta throw on the wheels, take it for a drive, make sure I don't hit anybody doing 50 cause I have no brakes. <laughs> That would not be good. By the way, I never actually explained on how to do it. So let me explain how you actually properly do this. So with the front and the back, there's a bleeder valve. The bleeder valve is where, obviously, as you saw, I was draining it from. So this right here is the bleeder valve. It takes a 10 millimeter wrench like so. And there's also these caps, which I gotta find it. There's also these caps that go on it. And I should have technically have wiped all of this off. I didn't, but it should be fine but the caps is what protect the actual hole from getting debris in it. So we go ahead and slap that on like so. Now each caliper has one of these. So the backs obviously have one, the fronts have one. So that's the back one. The front one up here is right here. They have different uh, 
caps for some reason the front and the back either way but as you can see it has a cap on it that way it protects the hole and obviously you guys did see how i did it but i'm gonna explain a little more when you do the reservoir make sure that you never let it go empty because then you get air in the line it's really not good for the brakes you have to re-bleed and it's a pain in the butt so make sure it never goes empty i i was always checking i was getting out of the car i would pump the pedal like three to five times and then always get out and check the last thing that I want to do is get air in the lines and that makes everything a pain because you have to redo it and it's not very fun. But as long as you keep that full, then you're good. And then obviously you hit the brakes and you pump it enough until all that black stuff or the brown stuff comes out and it turns clear. To do a full flush, you need a 32 ounce bottle of whatever brake fluid. Obviously I'm using dot four and it's 32 ounces and this was just enough. At the end I had a little bit extra. So I made sure that I pumped that one out as much as possible, but I pretty much used the whole thing, so it's empty. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Honestly, it was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. it took me about, I think about maybe two, two, two and a half hours, so. And it's my first time, so I only get faster when I do it more often. That's pretty much how you do it, guys. So I'm gonna throw the tires on, and uh, I'm gonna take it for a drive. Oh, fuck. All right, y'all, it's showtime. Either I'm gonna kill somebody or kill myself, or I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure at all. It's just like, if I don't have any brakes, then I'm gonna hit somebody. Not a big deal. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. We're doing four miles an hour. Well, it came to a stop after five miles an hour. Okay, so honestly, it really doesn't feel that much different. All right. So we're doing 30. <laughs> Everybody get out of my way. Nah, we should be good. Honestly, at this point, everything feels fine. Okay, so honestly, you really can't... <laughs> I'm like brake checking myself. You really can't feel it. If anything, it's a little softer, but I'm gonna assume that's because I have to get more... I don't know, it feels the same. Like, I really can't tell the difference. Well, yeah, so I guess it's done. I mean, like I said, it feels just the same. Now, it is nice to know, though, that I do have a stronger brake fluid in here that will withstand more temperatures, which is really nice to know. It's always better, especially when you're going to the track, to make sure that you prepare properly, even if you're over-preparing. But a lot of people with tensions, they really, they go for the dot four because, you know, you can hit high brake temperatures, you know, when you're braking any car, really, you use dot four on the track. So, you know, a lot of people have done it and it helps them out a lot, so I figured, look, I know that when I go to the track, I'm gonna push it hard. Might as well give it some good brake fluid. Well, I guess that concludes today's video. I mean, I'm, I'm filthy, I gotta go shower. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I hope I at least taught you something. I know I didn't explain a lot, I'm sorry. Um, and honestly, at this point in time, without editing, the whole video seems so disorganized, but I know that once I put it together, it'll be nicely, you know, nicely done and organized better. So, like I said, I, I'll probably in the video edit, like, some parts where I explain what to do and explain tips and stuff. That way, I'm at least giving you some knowledge. Thank you guys for watching. As always, midnight is getting there, guys. We're getting track ready. I'm gonna get shower ready. See you guys in the next video.